All right, we've got our first deep mud hole participant of the day, this here Rubicon. I just got through warning this driver that this hole most recently was dug out by 44 and a half inch buggers and two-wheel drive. Mud trucks are fun to watch. <laughs> yes, they are exciting. So he's going in the hole very cautiously. Looking pretty good so far. Look how deep that is. Oh no. Back axle's dragging just a little bit. Oh boy, she's lost, lost her momentum. I think now he's just having fun. It ain't gonna be nothing. Lisa's got a winch hooked up on the front. Maybe, uh, would you guys mind bringing one of your tacos over so he can winch on to you? We're gonna have one of the tacos come over and pull out to the front so you can have a winch point. Okay. What is right here is Okay, so nobody today has yet tried the deepest mud pit. Randy was brave enough to do it in his JK Rubicon. He's on 35s, but as you can see, it was not enough. We think he's high centered on the uh, center rut. So the uh, center line that runs through the pit, we think that's what his axles are sitting on top of. Anyhow, we're gonna get him hooked up to one of the Tacomas and then just winch him forward out of this pit. And here it comes, soft shackle time. It's gonna try and find us a good anchor point. Looks like he has one already in mind. Not your first rodeo, huh? No, we went up and around the hitch. Okay. Make sure, because I'm saying these break off right here. Yeah. So it's, not really, it's not a good point. Especially for the amount of uh, pulling course we're getting ready to do to come out of this hole. Right. So we're gonna do a soft pull. Yeah. Yeah. Control pull. <laughs> Winching it in now. We're taught. Gonna be a soft pull here. Oh, it didn't take much, but I think his belly is gonna keep on finding uh, bottom. Almost. I <laughs> still can't drive out. Here we go. All right, he should be under his own power now. Successful recovery. Only question is, who's next? He's gonna go. Cody's gonna oh, we've, go. we've got another victim ah. lined up. Just getting into place here. All right. recovery yeah all right thankfully we already have the winching rig kind of in place looks fun whoa a little slick dave's got the duck boots dave's a professional of this by now we've got so many clips of david doing this yeah it doesn't make it any easier look at that just like that yeah yeah all right so now you've just got to hold that until we get the winch line huh yep all right let's get the winch line Looks like you might be holding it for a hot minute. That's all right. I know, it's deeper than it looks. Yeah, well, I tried to come in off the sidewall, oh, and it just slid it just straight in. Right into it. All right. It should have just came in at like 20 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> like I said to. 
When folks do that, the splash that it creates in your engine cavity yeah. will tend to soak some of your electronics. We had a 392 that had a couple of relays uh, go bad when he did that. Yeah, somebody right now saying, what a dumbass for taking a 392 out there. <laughs> I'm not saying that. It looked cool as and he had no problem with doing it time and again, but that's just what kind of happens. Yeah. Almost, almost at his doors. Like another couple centimeters. All right, and this guy, he just got pulled out by that Tacoma, and now he's pulling out this one. Help your fellow wheeler. How's your day going? Oh, fantastic. Lots of recoveries, pretty muddy. It's been a great day out here at Ryan's. And if you want to get tickets, come on out. Go to w2wparks.com. Speed laps to shake out the mud and uh, water. Still running rough on the yeah, idle. Here. We might just call it while we're still ahead. Yeah. yeah. Let her let her dry out or do whatever she needs to. Yeah, because driving at normal speed is fine. Yeah. It's just when it gets down to real low on the idle. So what does that indicate to you? Well, you can hear it knocking now. Mm. Yeah. Might be water somewhere it's not supposed to. I gotta start pulling filters and stuff like that. Take a look. But Shoot. I ain't got no. It's not milky on the dipstick. Nice, it's in water and get up and the oil in the engine bay. Yeah. So, but, yeah, filter, so All right, I'll we'll limp her up front and start doing that. Yeah, you got all the tools you need, so. Yeah. Right on. Yeah, we'll get it up there. All right, we have our second group of the day out here, and this looks to be nothing but Jeeps. Can you believe it? Had a little renegade. Curious to see how much fun they have. And here's the one that's been out here all day. Welcome back. You should have done like on the old mud bogs where they had gnarly ass pits and they'd, you know, hook a cable to the back of the truck so if they don't make it through the hole, they automatically get you. Yeah, they just do it neutral and pull. You don't gotta get your feet wet. 